Let's do some news! My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's date, I look over here to just check this my name. But today's date is <laughs> April 23rd, 2021. Time is 2.53 p.m. 14.53 for some of y'all. Hello, chat! Chat says hi. Hello, YouTubers and VOD watchers. We love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much, so much. Appreciate everyone being here today. 22.53. Oh, God. Time zone's so weird. Well... We have a lot of updates this week. Uh, we have um, some some good news. We have some bad news, and we have some like really really weird um, announcements. Uh, not for me personally, but just events that are happening this weekend that you should definitely pay attention to. If you're watching this vod on Saturday morning or something, uh, then you might want to pay attention to the end of the stream because there's some shit happening. And you need to make sure you're there for it. It's going to be a thing. All right. All right. Okay. So first, after 19 years, after 19 years, <sighs> Uncle Jeff, the bad news first, the bad news first, we're losing, we're losing Jeff, Jeff from the, from the Overwatch team is no more. He is leaving the company. Doesn't say why. There's lots of speculation as to why. We don't know why. We have no idea. Uh, lots of speculation as to what can possibly happen to the Overwatch team. Overwatch development. Overwatch 2. All that. Papa Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Taddy. God. <laughs> He's going to greener pastures. He's going to greener pastures. That's right. Uh, Aaron Keller, who was a founder... Of the uh, of the Overwatch team is actually going to be um, taking over. And just so you guys get an idea who this person is, he seems to have the spirit. Here he is. All here, players at home, they want to see one of the new maps that we've never talked about before. Really, I can just like I can just talk about anything that I want to. Yes. You're, you're you're serving this up to the guy that is like unintentionally leaked information in past <laughs> interviews. <laughs> you can do it officially now. Okay. So one of the maps. So he seems seems like he's got he's got he's got the spirit, man. You know, like there's there's an air about Jeff. You know where he how he handles things, how he presents himself, and it's an attitude. It's an attitude, right? And what I've seen from Aaron, from Mr. Keller, uh, is that uh, you know he's he's got he's got the he's got the intestinal fortitude to make it happen. So so it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the end of Overwatch. As a matter of fact, as I look over a lot of the uh, official Overwatch responses, like you know, uh, uh, like for example, in the subreddit and also in, in the forums, um, the vast majority of people, besides trying to quell any weird rumors that pop up, uh, are like chill with with Aaron taking over. So that's a good sign when like you know somebody leaves who is you know revered amongst the community. And when I mean revered, like, like, I mean, like, these guys go all out. Maybe you guys remember some of this stuff. Welcome to another developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're really excited to be here today to talk to you guys about the PTR. So first off, for those of you who don't know what the PTR is, it stands for patch notes, totally random, or sometimes the player tiers region. There's some balance changes out there that I know a lot of you are interested in. What I think is important to understand is why we're making changes on the PTR to the heroes we've decided to make changes to. So in the first of every month, we like to do, you know, a coin toss. Which which heroes will we wreck this month? You know, it's anybody's guess, to be honest. Um, so first up is Sombra. So... <laughs> <laughs> like like I said, like this guy is this guy is is revered uh, in a, in a way that that he goes with this, right? He goes along with this and like people are like willing to cut cut all this stuff up to make these like hilarious videos, compilations of his uh, updates. Uh and people love him for it, man. I mean just in general like people love him. You know, when when Metzen left uh and Morheim left and everybody else left, it was like it, everyone was just kind of like, you know, it's like, "Well, we still got Jeff. We still got Jeff. We still got Jeff." 
And now, like, is there anybody left? Like, I, I, I was trying to think of who, who's actually left from like the original crew. Does anybody? Does anybody have an idea? I don't know. I always felt like Jeff was one of the last ones because Sam and, and Chris Metzen left. Morheim left. Um, uh, uh, um, was Brody? He wasn't an original, but he was. He was in, integral to like the Hearthstone team and everything. Um, Samwise wasn't Brack one of them? No, Brack was a uh, was uh, he was put in by Activision. It sounds he was installed like a spy. <laughs> So which of the two teams at Moram Studio is he going to be? <laughs> well, funny you mentioned that because literally within hours, within hours of that announcement, not even kidding, within hours of that announcement, Chris Metzen, Chris Metzen announces, you ready for this? He's got a new video for his Kickstarter, for his, uh, for his book, his uh, campaign book. Um, not what we were really expecting. We were looking for other things, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. Maybe not really the same feel for old for old Jeff. But um, but still, I saw a tweet from Metz and I was just like, oh <laughs> But yeah, no, it's not. Um Say it chilled in his stock and retired to the mobile department. Retired, oh boy. The logo's all that's left. We still have uh Josh and Mike Shaftney. I know. <laughs> I mean, like the original. Yeah, you're right, though. Josh and Shaft still work there. But Josh and Shaft, uh, they've been there. Uh, Shaft's been there for five years, at least. Uh, Josh is like, man, Josh has been there so long. Like, he's got to be on year seven or something right now. Maybe eight. I'm not sure. Um, but it's crazy, though. Like, how, uh, how, like, when we went and toured the, and I think Josh was with me when we first went in and toured the, um, the blizzard studio and this is probably like in early 2000 like uh, you know teens or whatever like probably 2012 or something um like i remember seeing people with like the you know the sword and the shield and their five and ten year you know like a, a a word or whatever they get and i was like damn man that's a long time to be at a company five ten years because i'm somebody who like this like honestly honestly i just thought of this this is the longest job I have had. <laughs> streaming, specifically. Like, content creation as a whole, there's all these different areas and everything. But, like, streaming as, like, this is basically a job, right? Like, I'm here, like, clock in, like, almost every day, right? Like, this is the longest job I've had. So, thank you so much for keeping me employed for this long. I don't get a sword or a shield or anything like that, but I have you. So, thank you. Uh, but I was amazed at, like, how... Uh, how cool it was that people had these really cool things to commemorate them being at a company for so long and now josh and, and like and 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 mike shafton are like sword fighting and shit you know and so like it's cool like they've already been there for so long also it means we're getting old very quickly so there's that too uh see 20 years in this industry is not normal so we see the old guard finally take a break they deserve it jeff worked on uh and launched vanilla wow and overwatch well-deserved rest i know it's kind of like it's like our, it's like our elders or something like that you know it's like we get to retire them or something um You've been doing photo for longer than streaming, but but that's not regular though. That's so infrequent. It's it's really hard to say that I've been. I mean, I've been doing it for so long, but not like you know a job job. You know, uh, he works on video editing for Overwatch too. Uh, currently, I believe. Yeah, he can't talk about it. He can't talk about it. Um, I bet I have those TPS reports on your desk when they had a stream. Oh, sorry, sir. I'll get right on that. I'm sure someone could persuade a mic to uh, to make a special automaton. What's wrong with mine? What's wrong with mine? It's fine. So, anyways, anyways, they have a Kickstarter that's available right now for uh, War Chief, which is their uh, new company. They're doing a 5e campaign uh, for uh, Ouroboros, Koyas of the Serpent, and they have currently pledged a lot of money. <laughs> they have made a, a lot of money so far. Uh, so, they're off to a great start. They have 28 days to go. I actually missed the launch of this. Uh... And so it's, I mean, it's just like, it's crazy how much money they've made just in like probably a handful of days. I don't know, when did this thing launch? May 21st? We just go by May 21st. Uh, it doesn't say when it started necessarily, but still, a lot of money. I'm guessing they're probably going to pull in probably like two mil. I'm guessing probably like two mil. Uh, you saw it, it was like 100K? Yeah, yeah. Uh, figure they have one mil by now. I mean, this is two, two days. <laughs> the, they're going to get another big push by the end too. Like, they'll probably hit a million, you know, soon. Maybe refresh. Um, 
Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it didn't change. Sucks. <sighs> Dead project. Um, <laughs> uh, they also are doing custom stuff for from uh, Wormwood. There you go. Well, Desert Blues are uh, so in with the THC community. It hits just hits harder than normal when they decide to take a break. Yeah, man, you know, the THC community. <laughs> I, was, I was really hurt by, by that. <laughs> <laughs> by, by them leaving, you know. <laughs> Critter roll hit five million in like two hours. Totally meant to go off of right. Ah, it's not the same. Not the same. If now, if if uh they were making a game, like if Metal was making a game, dude, they would have so much money. Oh, it just went up, you see it? Uh they would have so much money. But they're making they're making a 5e campaign, so it's not gonna cater to everyone. The fact that they have this much money already, to me, is a lot. Um that doesn't say T-T-H-C? Oh, man. Did I misread it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, quick update. Uh, I know that I think we talked about it maybe last week, week before, but there was an issue with Outriders, for those of you guys who play it, or maybe those of you guys who uh, cannot play it because you lost all your gear. They posted an update today saying that they are... Uh, very close, or they're looking at soon getting uh, uh, a release for a fix for the for the inventory wipes because people were, if you forget, if you forgot, uh, they were um, in multiplayer matchmaking and they would like exit their exit their uh, their party and go back to their own instance and they would have no gear, like nothing, absolutely nothing, and it's a looter shooter. Okay, so imagine any other looter game. Okay, where you just like log in and all your stuff's gone. And everything's just gone. Just wiped. Because because you decided to play multiplayer. Just reset everyone. Perfectly balanced. Yeah. So not even talking about balance, which hurts my soul. Well, they they do have a new patch coming soon. Uh they have details coming soon. <laughs> There's a lot of soon. There's a lot of soon happening here. So we'll check back with them soon. <laughs> it's just, it's just all I have. <laughs> Soon, all right, all right. No ETA or anything. We've got a roadmap though. Yeah, it's Cyberpunk soon. Shit. You know, you know what? You know. Speaking of, speaking of Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk took some serious losses. Some serious, serious losses. Uh, they had to refund two point two million dollars worth of copies of the game uh 2.2 million 30,000 copies wow wow that's a lot whatever shall they do oh i don't know how about make 303 million dollars in profit for last year so they're doing fine <laughs> They're doing fine. <laughs> almost. It's, I mean, they, they were close though, man. They almost. They almost went under three hundred million. God, what would they have done? Two ninety nine. What? She's get out of here. <sighs> so they made a lot of money on this game. Uh, they sold thirteen point seven million copies, and with eight million of them being pre orders. Pre orders. Eight million. Isn't that crazy? Is that crazy? Minion says they will likely do what No Man's Sky did and get the game where it should be eventually. Man, I hope so. I hope so. Because, I mean, I enjoyed the world. It was amazing. I was beautiful, like driving around and everything until you um, try to turn around on a motorcycle. Um, <laughs> just take the GTA drive and physics and put it in the fucking game. Put it, just, pick, just pick it up and put it over here, right? So easy, guys. <sighs> But they are, um, they use their own like return system to track all this stuff. Uh, they set up a whole like refund so you could go through, and they said that they have 95% of the returns of the refunds already processed to people with the, the remaining 5%. People that live in countries where there's like issues like crediting back all their stuff and everything. Um, the pre order is so bad, at least with early access, you get to play the game early. Yeah. If they're going to just copy a game, drive fix it, let's at least get a game of good fix, not GTA. I mean, it just works for open world stuff. It works. Make the things a little heavier. That's all. Things can be a little heavier. It's not perfect. 
it's not perfect. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, uh, they made a lot of money, which is good for them. Good for them as a company, and also potentially means that, like you said, we may get uh, some uh, periodic updates where they're going to go through and they're going to be fixing things, which is is awesome. You know who else made a lot of money? You know who else made like a fucking you know shitload of money? Let me get another. Hold on. Let me get a different a different headline here because this headline is too small. Not me. I says not me. <laughs> not me either. <laughs> George. George who? George Sherman, the exiting CEO of GameStop, is walking away with a hundred and seventy nine million dollars in shares. After he had to forfeit $89 million in shares because he did not meet his performance goals. Oh, no. So, George Sherman, who became CEO in 2019, will be leaving the company at the end of July 2021. This exiting, this exit makes him one of the top paid CEOs for this past year. Like seriously, like he makes more than uh, I think the like the CEO of like Chase Bank who makes like 112, a measly 112 million dollars or something like that. Um, so when's when's anonymous stepping in? I know Mr. Robot. So here's what it says: It says GameStop granted Sherman roughly 925 thousand shares last June when he was set to receive. Uh, that he was set to receive in thirds over three years. Uh, he is set to receive them all at once upon his exit under terms of a transition agreement that he negotiated this month, as well as roughly 200,000 more shares that had not previously vested the filing show. So he negotiated his way out of being the CEO. And now he's going to, he's got, I mean, you know, he may not cash. He, he might hold, right? He might, he might be one of those boys holding, right? Hold on, boys. Come on. Uh, Sherman also stood to eventually receive 308,477 shares awarded last June that were tied to his performance, separate from the stock he forfeited last week. He agreed to forgo those performance-based shares as well, one of the filing shows. So so he didn't meet his performance goals. And so he he wasn't going to get that anyway, but I guess he decided to forgo those, those, uh, those shares. It was not clear whether he would have met his performance targets <laughs> GameStop has said Sherman plans to remain on the board of directors without pay, without pay to help the next CEO transition into the role. Oh boy, man. I mean, GME, let me see. GameStop closed. GameStop was like 150 yesterday or something. Let me see. GameStop still, I mean, GameStop holding strong, man. It's a hundred, it's $151. <laughs> it fell. It looks like it fell. What? Like seven cents, uh, in the past day. Uh, and in the past week, it fell quite a lot. It fell, fell from uh, 171 at the very beginning of the week to 151. So yeah, man, if he wants to get out and he wants to cash those things out just be fucking rich, dude, come on, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's one thing to be a CEO and getting paid. Like stupid, we've talked about that before on the show. Getting paid stupid amounts of money, right? Just for like your whatever your stock options and your annual uh, um your annual earnings are, but like to like fail upward, BL tank exactly to fail upward in such a way that you are a hundred something. I mean, he's already probably a hundred millionaire, I'm sure. Uh, but to get that much money in a lump sum. While like GameStop employees are clearly not making any kind of livable wage, you know, like there's no way if you work for GameStop, you're making any kind of livable wage. You've got like three roommates and you have a tiny little apartment. Like that's just that's the way it works as a GameStop employee. Your district manager is probably making thirty thousand dollars a year tops. Right. And your regional manager is probably making sixty thousand dollars a year. I'm just guessing at these numbers here, but I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty accurate. Like it's insane. It's insane. Uh, but hey, man. You make it to the top. You could just fail your way right to the fucking bank. Cash right out. <sighs> I live in the back of the store. Yeah. The hype helped me make the, that money. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, some of you guys made made um, a ton of cash, which is great uh, on the whole deal. That's awesome. That's good. That's the only way you're going to make money. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna fail to meet expectations and get a shitload of cash. It's crazy. The only above district manager gets stock options from that from uh, what my friend told me. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure like a regular employee is not gonna get it. They're not gonna give stock options to like some 16 year old or something like that. They don't care about them. Get out of here. GameStop, GameStop district manager, 65 to 81k according to Google's. Why did I call that? <laughs> <laughs> See? Thank thank you, Celestian. Oh my god, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So there it is. You basically make here's the sh here's the shitty part, right? I don't know, I don't know what you're gonna have for the for the regional, right? Which is like they're kind of you know, like maybe they'll have like uh five stores in an area or something like that. Um, but I'm willing to bet it's probably like 30 to 40 or something like that, which is what I was making as a retail manager uh uh in 2005 okay okay so yeah <laughs> not no one's getting paid anymore than they were 15 years ago uh unless you're unless you're a ceo of some company your my friend had eight stores in his district oh wow interesting well you know you can do all that money you don't have unless you have doge you could spend it at Newegg, Newegg is now accepting Dogecoin, which is awesome, except that it's not really helping Doge out at all. <laughs> Doge is just not, it's just, it's, it's, what's it, what's it, just do something, do, do something, go, just keep, go. look, at, it, it was up here, it was up here, and then it went down here, why? Why, look at the five day here, look at, at the beginning, it was so, it was so good. And then, uh, 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 oh, buy the dip, buy the dip. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> by the way, thank you again, guys, for for uh, making me buy that eight hundred dollars worth. It's now like a good solid six hundred bucks or something. You guys, are the best. But don't worry, it's not a loss until you sell or until you use it to buy something at Newegg. So there you go. All of you guys who have made some good money, Nitsut, looking at you. I know you. I know you still got some. I know you still got some. You could go buy yourselves. I don't know because they have no graphics card in stock. So <laughs> I don't know what you're going to I don't know what you're going to buy, man. They don't have anything in stock. So there you go. Buy one third of a GPU with it. <laughs> get a case fan. Exactly. And you know, and you know Dogecoins feels a little bit like those little tickets you get at the uh, at the carnival. You know, where like you get, you're like, whoa, man, I have 80,000 Dogecoin. This is awesome. And yeah, you get a case fan. <laughs> You want optical drive, son? We got we got some of those. <laughs> What's a coder ring? <laughs> those tickets are worth more now. No, don't don't get it twisted. Okay? Dogecoin is still insanely valuable compared to where it was at the beginning of this year, which was like five cents or something like that uh it is now or like no it was like a half a penny or something crazy uh it's up it's up eight it went up eight thousand percent actually and now it's up six thousand percent so don't get we we can shit on this all we want all right but like doge is still for some people like huge amounts of money if you got in early it's crazy temporary tattoos all the way for our doge coins yeah no, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Jesse, what the hell? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Another update. Another update. Got lots of updates this week. You know all those you know those episodes those episodes we do where like there's like three or four news stories where it's like, well I guess we'll check in to see what happens later. This is that episode, man. This is that episode. Bitcoin only lost what? Let me see. Uh it's at fifty thousand right now. It's hovering. It's hovering. I have faith. I'm not selling. I'm not selling. Shit, I ain't no bitch. I'm gonna hold on to that money. For, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold on to this money until I can pay off my truck. All right, that's the goal, or the car. Actually, either one of them. When I can pay off a vehicle, then I'll then I'm gonna sell it because then that seven hundred dollar or however much money I'm paying a freaking month for 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 a vehicle, like that money's gonna go right into the bank. It's gonna go bam, 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 bam like that. So that's how you do it. We just gotta make that money though, right? That's all. You could pay off a car with 50k if I had a Bitcoin. <laughs> if I had a Bitcoin, yeah, sure I could. Jeez, <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I have like I have like point zero 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 seven five bitcoins. So, speaking of lots of zeros, 
Discord ends sale talks with Microsoft per sources. So uh, if you if you recall, I uh, we are cracking all kinds of jokes about about Discord turning into Skype 2.0 because Microsoft and them were talking. Microsoft was interested in buying Discord for more than ten billion dollars. Ten billion dollars, and Discord was like, no. And they decided to walk away from it. They said that they're going to focus on further development, making money off of, you know, Turbo, Discord Turbo and Discord whatever. Um, and uh, they're what's on the table, but not necessarily something they're looking at, is a possible public option later on. So Nitro, sorry, Nitro. Turbo, Nitro, I mean... F f the fuck? <laughs> Are they making money on Nitro? I mean, they have to be making some kind of money if they are, um, you know, if they're being sought after to be bought for $10 billion. And, you know, you don't make money necessarily on, like, Nitro and shit. Like, that's not, this is like, yay, this is cool, we're making some money here. Um, they're making money on what they do with the data that they get. You know, they they if, if they may say, oh, we don't sell your data or whatever, but they're finding some way to make a profit off of what they what they glean from what we're doing, um, for sure. This is this is this is we don't make money on ads anymore. We don't make money on like Turbo and Nitro and all that stuff. Um, we make money off of what we do with your data. That's what we do now. All right. So, um, I suspect the majority of their money is from subs bits was out uh, uh, uh Twitch. Jeez, thank you, Discord. Microsoft does not support stuff they buy. Uh, they get rid of competitor. Mm -hmm. <sighs> They've got to be at last, at least breaking even if they just said not nah to Microsoft. It's true. No, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, this is this is great news for, for a lot of folks. I mean, I used to use uh, Skype all the time for business stuff because it was just the way that we communicated. Um, and for... Discord to like then be viewed as a potential buy for Microsoft. It's like, oh fuck, man! Like, like I I use Discord for business. I'm in there. This is my business. Where are we at? We're in Discord all the time, right? So there you go. Join our Discord. Discord.gg slash Mike, aka Mike B. Okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Go 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 go. But yeah, whoo! Dodge the bullet. Take a drink. Also, another update. Sony, Sony has backtracked on shutting down. This was just like last week's episode, I think, or maybe two weeks ago. Sony originally came out and they said that they were going to um, close down their PS3, Vita, and PlayStation portable stores. Um, and that was, for some of us, it's kind of like, okay. But for some folks, it's like, damn, not to be able to have the accessibility of going and like buying a game. You have to actually buy the physical copies of games, which I think for the PS Portable, you can't even do, I think, right? Um, so they're going to stay. They're like, no, we're going to, we're going to, the PSP storefront is still going to close, but the, uh, uh, the PS3 and the Vita digital stores are still available. So, um, those of you guys who have a very fancy Blu-ray player that you never use, guess what? You could still use it to play games if you want. So there you go. Did I understand why PlayStation wanted to shut that down? They're just trying to like, just try to trim the fat. Or they made the announcement knowing that they were not going to do it and just made like a shitload of money on people just like, oh my God, I got to buy all the games. I got to buy all the games that I, that I can't buy in the future. And so people want a huge spending spree. So they're like, well, I guess we won't shut it down. <laughs> Dang. Got him. Got it. I, I almost, I actually almost went. Yeah. The, cl <laughs> the classic store closing sale. Yeah. Every furniture store, right? Every furniture store is either grand opening or going out of business sale. There's no in between. There's never a furniture store that's just open. <laughs> They're never just open. <laughs> Dollar bills. Of course, they never intended to. They knew. They knew. They definitely knew. <sighs> all right. Take a drink because this one is wild. All right. This is our, our final story of the evening here. <sighs> I dropped something. <sighs> a 
April 24th, 2020, something happened that set forth a chain of events that will culminate tomorrow or for some of you today or yesterday or whatever slow fucks watching the video uh on april 24th 2021 we are getting our first our very first swain bowl i said swain bowl by the way i realized that sounded a little convoluted there but josh swain in a fit of boredom last year said or gathered up all of the Josh Swains he could find on Facebook Messenger and messaged them all and said, you're probably wondering why I've gathered you all here today. It's like, because we all share the same names? Precisely. April 24th, 2021, 12 p.m. Meet at these coordinates. We fight. Whoever wins gets to keep the name. Everyone else has to change their name. You have a year to prepare. Good luck. The location, updated location, is a park in Lincoln, Nebraska. Are any of you guys familiar? Are any of you guys close? <laughs> if you're close to Lincoln, Nebraska, you might want to go to Bowling Lake Park because it's going to be the, the, the battle of the century. Local News Channel 8. Local News Channel 8 said they're sending out... This is official, by the way. They said they're sending out their... Uh, their reporter, whose name is Josh, by the way, uh, to cover this, uh, they have name tags that are issued. <laughs> gonna be issued. It's so fucking serious, man. It's gonna be serious. It's the ultimate showdown. It's all. It's all the Joshes. They said the weapon of choice is pool noodles. So if you want to participate, you got to bring pool noodles. If you're not a Josh, I guess you have to like use it. Use, use something else or something. There's like there's some kind of handicap you gotta have if you're not a Josh. Um, <laughs> live streams are going to be available there's uh there's a couple places you can watch the live stream i'll, I'll include those in the notes axocaf c-a-f-f a-x-o-c-a-f-f -F -F. cryptic underscore x is going to be covering this thing live uh he says he's got a whole live setup that he's going to whip out for this with a stabilizer and all that stuff uh there's actually a fund there's a fund to pay for the losing josh's to change their name secretly it's a uh, it's a it's a charity event for the uh, children's hospital medical center foundation 501c c3 uh which is in the state of nebraska so it's secretly that but you know but you know you can still support you can still support who's josh you know josh josh swain josh swain this guy joshua swain you know josh swain look at him. he's a uh, spelling bee bench warmer yeah <laughs> he's one of these guys you know they're gonna fight Tomorrow, in 24 hours, less than 24 hours, there's a countdown, as a matter of fact. Soon. <laughs> this shit's real, man. It's going to be the biggest showdown of Josh's you've ever seen. I don't know who's going to show up. He's even said nobody's really confirmed with him, but there's so much hype about this. Like, you know, obscure internet fucking meme hype. But... I'm looking forward to watching this. All right. It's going to have a Josh Mosh. Exactly. They're all going to show up. Oh my God. I'm going to be gone. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be doing a shoot. Shit. Oh no. Someone record it for me. <laughs> Someone DVR it. <laughs> they're all going to show up on. Uh, they're going to show up and have a major dad barbecue. That's right. Let's f fundraise to let, uh, let make it might be changed to Josh Swain. That's right. I feel like they have to change it back. How much Dogecoin does it cost? Does it cost to watch this? If you want more details, there is a uh, <laughs> there is a subreddit. There's actually three subreddits for this. Okay, so it's just pretty pretty serious. Uh, and this one is uh, uh, Josh Swain Battle. There's also Swain Bowl, uh, which I think is pretty creative. Uh, and uh, there's another one here, uh, 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 R slash Lincoln. Okay, yeah, the actual town of Lincoln. Um, so all the details are here. If you're interested in attending, if you're somebody that's in the Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska area, which when I looked up the area, it was like nowhere, <laughs> but there's apparently a local Josh Swain 
that says that he's going to be there. So, so there's going there's, there's gonna to be someone for the home team, you know? <laughs> That's it. Look forward to Josh Swain Bolt tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for joining me. I appreciate it. appreciate it. You guys are lovely. <sighs> Nebraska's a bunch of nothing. Can't confirm. Oh, well, then go to this thing. It's the biggest thing that happened in Nebraska since the coronavirus. Go check it out, man. How does one win the Swain Bowl? Last man standing. I don't, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, say bye, say bye to chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out. My name is Mike B. Follow me, aka Mike B, on all the things. Thank you, VOD watchers, of course. YouTube watchers, live viewers. You guys are amazing. Chat, hang out for a little bit. We'll see you guys later. Bye.